If you've ever been discarded by a narcissist, chances are you would have been discarded and the narcissist would have left you without any real closure on why on why they discarded you and the reason for them leaving. In, in most cases, when someone's in a relationship with a narcissist, it's pretty inevitable that at some point the narcissist will discard the person. Simply because nobody can nobody can hold the narcissist's interest for very long. Nobody can be seen as good potent supply in their eyes for very long. And what that usually culminates into is the narcissist either pushing the person away or discarding the person themselves. And when they do discard the person, most often they don't really give the person closure. And what I mean by that is the person who was discarded doesn't fully understand what happened, why the narcissist is leaving. And it seems that there's more questions outstanding than answers given. So the narcissist will not, will not usually discard their supply until they have a new replacement supply lined up. And that new replacement supply, who they would have tried and tested, you know, throughout the relationship with the current supply. So when the narcissist is in a relationship with the current supply, they're always looking out there in the market of the other fish in the sea, the other potential supplies. And when they find one that seems to be good, they they try and test that person, you know, in the background without the current supply knowing, usually, although sometimes the current supply finds out. So yeah, so narcissists aren't very aren't very loyal, um, which shouldn't come as a surprise to people who, who know how narcissists behave. So where the narcissist would have tried and tested this potential new supply and would have deemed that person to be a good replacement to the current supply. You know, the current supply would have probably gone stale by that point. The narcissist will at some point discard the current supply and make the, the, the new replacement supply their main supply so that the former supply just leaves the picture. So they discard the former supply. And when they discard the former, former supply to get the former supply out of the attention, out of the picture so they can, you know, pay full attention to this new person in their life who they're finding very exciting. So when they do the discard of the former supply, they they don't give the person closure. They leave the person wondering what really happened. And they don't want the person to, to understand what's happened or to, to understand why the narcissist really left. The narcissist perhaps would have given some phony reasons and you know probably would have blamed the target for for them misbehaving or for them not pulling their weight in the relationship um and the target might blame themselves but things generally just won't click in their mind and the narcissist knows this you know they'll they'll feed the person the the, the former supply a few reasons and most of these reasons would place the blame on on the former supply as if the narcissist had no blame in the matter but ultimately, what's happening is um, there's no closure being given, and the former supply is left with these questions that remain unanswered. So the narcissist discards the person with no closure, and they're focused on the new replacement supply, who they're thoroughly enjoying the company of, because now they have this person who's new. There's a lot of interesting things that they're still going to learn about this person. This person's unpredictable. In, in a good way, in a sense that the narcissist doesn't find them boring yet. But, you know, this kind of honeymoon phase, this buzzy phase with a new supply, it's, it's got a, it, it doesn't last very long either. You know, these things all have a, have a, a limited shelf life. You know, the narcissist can only idealize this new person for so long. And... What the narcissist knows, you know, they, sometimes the narcissist tries not to think about this explicitly, but they're very, what they're very well, uh, well aware of within themselves is the fact that anytime they idealize somebody or feel this fiery passion towards somebody, that it it doesn't tend to last very long. So that good supply they're getting from this new person doesn't usually last very long, and it's for that reason that the narcissist deep down is afraid that this new supply might not actually be able to supply them for very long until, you know, something happens and either the person leaves the parts of the picture or maybe the narcissist realizes 
the, they want to discard the person because the person just doesn't have anything good to offer them anymore. The reason the narcissist leaves the former supply with no closure is because the narcissist, even though the narcissist might want nothing to do with the former supply now because they're all involved and enveloped by this new person in their life, deep down they know that they might want to go back to the former supply if the new supply becomes stale or if things just don't work out. Because <clears throat> the narcissist, what, what the narcissist can't do is be without any supply. And if if all they really have going for them is this new person, that's it's very risky for them to only have this new person and not being able to go back to previous supplies if they wish. So they want to keep the door open to the former supply and other former supplies as well. They, they like to keep the door open to the previous people who they've had romantic relationships with in the past because they might need them. The narcissist very often has to go back, or at least try to, because otherwise they often find themselves in a position where they're, they, don't, they don't have any supply, and narcissists can't operate in that, in that kind of reality. They, they need supply. Otherwise, they have to live with themselves and their thoughts and their feelings, and it's just too much to bear. They need an object, a, a supply, who they can fully engage with um, in a way where they don't have to live with themselves as such, where they can kind of ignore their own feelings. And that's the purpose of the supply, is to kind of distract them from themselves. So if things do go bad with the new replacement supply, and the narcissist decides that, or the narcissist sees that they're low on supply altogether, they will want to go back to the former supply. Because most often, going back to former supply is easier, is considered easier than finding new supply altogether, than, than finding, you know, going out and trying to, 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 to hunt for somebody new because that can take a long time and it's not easy to find good supply. Hence, the former supply, oftentimes the narcissist realizes that that former supply, you know, might be just the, the hit that they need for the next few weeks or days or months until until they can work something out with somebody new. But, you know, all that takes time. And what they really want is for the former supply to just sit on the back burner and just wait until the narcissist realizes that they want to make a reappearance in the person's life. And not giving that person closure is what increases the likelihood of the person entertaining the, potentially entertaining the narcissist back into their life. And if the narcissist does um, decide they want to go back to the former supply at some point, then, you know, they'll, they'll leverage off of the fact that no closure was given. You know, maybe the person is confused still because there are certain questions that were, were that were unanswered. The narcissist will use those that confusion and those unanswered questions as leverage to wiggle their way back into the person's life. Maybe all of a sudden they'll come up with an explanation of what happened of why they left. And the explanation will be so sugar coated, sounds so good, it's almost like, you know, the narcissist was working things out in their mind. They were a bit lost in themselves. They, they might even play the victim card and they'll and the, and the person, you know, the former supply might pity them and let them come back. You know, it can take many ways and forms, but the the fact of the matter is, by not giving the person closure, there's a much better chance of the of the person allowing the narcissist to come back into their lives, and that's the whole purpose of the narcissist not giving the person closure when they discard, is because deep down the narcissist knows things will not work out for long with a new supply, and then they and they won't have options open for what to do next once things will inevitably fall apart with the new supply. So yeah. And it's not just the, the 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 most immediate former supply. You know, there could be four or five, ten former supplies who who they left in that state of confusion with no with no answer, no closure, and they just want to know that there's somebody there who might take them back in if they ever need. So I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just just a a brief comment on this channel. So I've just recently past uh, 1,000 subscribers, and I'm trying to grow the channel because I think I think, I think think um, some people find it helpful, and it's, you know, a topic that I do like to talk about. So if, if you like these videos um, and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It helps the channel, and, you know, it, it'll give me more um, reason to keep posting these videos, and hopefully these things can reach out to you, and you can relate to some of the points I'm talking about, and I'm you know, I do hope these videos help you. So that's it for this video, and I'll be posting another video soon.